these two calls mean something to me. This one was from made by Wingbone Cryer. My friend Gene Denton gave that call to me. It was all covered up with varnished over, but Wingbone made it. This old man named Wel Wiley Cryer, he passed it on. He told me, he said, we old turkey hunters are known to be very tight-lipped, but I decided he wasn't going to take his information to the grave with him. So he told us stuff that he learned, and I took that to heart. I've always been very secretive. I'm, a, I'm an old generation. As I sit here and talk, I'm 78 years old and past, and I'm thankful that the Lord spared me this long and gave me this many days. But I've enjoyed being out. My wife and my girls encourage me to still stay, go turkey hunting, and I, I'm obliging by hunting three months in the fall and three months in the spring for turkeys only. I would suggest anybody that wants to take up turkey hunting, if you learn, as my friend the judge says, patience. And you will never learn it all. If you're smart, you won't, you'll never learn it all. Turkeys will continue. They permit me, old gobblers still permit me. I've killed my share of them. But these old turkeys will permit you to make a fool out of yourself. You feel like a third grader. But I would say to a new hunter what I said to my grandchildren, my three grandsons. I said, you cannot hunt a turkey, hunt turkeys. I'll never take you turkey hunting until you learn to handle a 20 gauge like a man. You've got to learn it's not some little something, it's an important thing. Turkey hunting and the, the history, and we've spent generations in the Turkey Federation, National Wild Turkey Federation, of paying it back, taking care of the new generation that's coming on, trying to teach them the benefits, the essence of hunting. But first of all, be honorable. Don't move in on somebody else's. If they're, if they're working a turkey, leave them alone. If you're that star for turkey, go to the grocery store and buy you a butterball. In the meantime, Kill what's legal. Do not go on another man's land. Have honor. Turkey, turkey hunting people are a different breed. We have a different value system. I found an in, I find an inordinate number of Christian people in the Turkey Federation in the Turkey group that I've known for 40, 50, 40 years now, more than 40 years. But you learn from, don't, you never learn, always ask it. I'm here at Unicoi State Park. Used to, I would come real early, and there's an old, old gentleman that had already gone on to his reward a long time ago. His name was Roscoe Reams. I'd get to Roscoe, and he'd look left and right. I'd say, what'd you learn this year? He said, he'd look off like this like an old bootlegger, and we'd share the information that we've learned from generations. Now Roscoe's gone, and I'm Roscoe's age. So anyway, it's important to honor the turkey. Taking fire chase. When you take a, a turkey call, whatever kind of call you want, and you shotgun and go to the woods and call up a gobbler and kill him. Wait on the old man. If you're a young hunter and you don't feel guilty about shooting a Jake or a young gobbler early on, as you kill a few turkeys, learn to let that little boy walk on and become a big smart gobbler that somebody's going to make somebody a fool out of when you that's what keeps you going is 
intermittent reinforcement. You give the same thing to the next gobbler and he might laugh at you. I had one do that in Southwest Virginia to me. I called him in and he stood 75 yards or looking. I had a perfect hide and he sat there and stared. He came to me a gobbler running to the trumpet call. He stood there on that flat. He looked at that and I, and I thought, I'm like a little fool. I yelped a couple times. It sounded just real good. And that rascal started gobbling and laughing at me. He circled me. He went around me just a gobbling and laughing. He went all the way around me, gobble, gobble. I could hear him going away gobbling. He's a laughing, he's laughing himself to death. And I said, I, I hunted him all that next fall. I never did see him. I didn't see him. another big gobbler there. You can see young, young birds, but that's the birds of your future, wherever you hunt. Whether you hunt on government, whether you hunt on private, your own farm, or somebody else's, respect the animal and respect your people who let you hunt. Thank them. Take them. And don't remember them at Christmas. And remember the turkeys in January and February. <laughs>